Welcome, Grizzlies, to our brand new section of Scoreboard called Scoreboard Unlocked. I'm Connor Parrish. And I'm Ethan Griffin. On this episode of Scoreboard, we will cover the recent varsity basketball and soccer games. As well as take a look at our Grizzlies in the playoffs and talk about approaching spring sports. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Pound, Pound it, it, noggin, noggin see, ya. see ya. On this new version of Scoreboard, we will also have special guest athletes. Who is it this week? I don't know. Let's take a look. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Yaku Mir, and I'm a senior on the boys varsity basketball team. Yeah, thanks for coming on, Yakub. Thanks really, for having me. Really uh, lucky to have one of the best players in the in the area for our first episode of Scoreboard. Thanks for having me. Appreciate first it. First thing I want to uh, address: commitment. Tell us where you're going, man. Yeah, so a few weeks ago, I committed to UC San Diego to play basketball for the next four years. So I mean, really excited about it. Great coaching staff, a great place to be. You know, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, that's awesome. What what drew you to UC San Diego? Honestly, it's just, you know, like I said, the coaches, you know, playing Division One basketball at the same time, and they got my major too, business econ with computer science. So, I mean, it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, and then we had to talk about the close, hard fought against Folsom on senior night last Wednesday. You want to you wanna kind of tell us what happened? Yeah, Folsom, I mean, it was a good senior night, I think, despite the loss. You know, we came out hard on the D, you know, from the end to the tip. And, uh, yeah, just hard fought on both ends. So, it was a really good game. Yeah, it, Folsom, if you guys don't know, is a really good team. They're first in Section 8 in California this year as of right now. So that was a really good game to be close. That was, yeah, that's a really that good was team impressive. To, it's a good team to compete with. Definitely. Delaro game. Got to tell us what happened, man. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough game, not going to lie. Uh, you know, I think we didn't have enough energy, you know, throughout the start. But it was still, you know, it was still a fun game. Really good turnout with the crowd. Uh, you know, usually one of the biggest games of the year. But uh, yeah, like I said, you didn't have the energy, but it's a good, good way for us to bounce it back coming into playoffs this week, I think. Yeah, it was close really all the way until the end. You guys had, I mean, it, there wasn't really just one person that was overtaking that whole game. It was pretty, pretty good team game, but like you said, unfortunately it fell just short, 64-59. Right. Yeah. It's close. Yeah, at, at the time of filming, unfortunately we were unable to cover Wednesday's game at St. Mary's. But make sure to check out our Instagram at GB Grizz Nation for the score because if they won, they play tonight at either Wood Creek or Mountain House High School. All right, yeah. Well, we had a great time talking to you. It was, it was very nice to meet you, and yeah, we wish you luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Yacoub. Girls, varsity basketball, a really, really hard fought season. Good job, girls. We went 11 and 17. Uh, Delaro was a really, really hard fought game. Uh, we ended up coming just short of uh, 43 to 45. Yeah, that but, one was close right until the end. Like, that was close the yeah, whole time. It was, it was a really fun game to watch. And I'm like, shout out to you girls. You guys did great. It came was, down in the last couple seconds. Yeah. But it, that 11 17 record and Delaro loss was still good enough to get into the play in game for the CIF section championships yeah, yeah. or playoffs. And unfortunately, Felt they fell just short uh, to Rodriguez, forty-five to forty-four. Yeah. But with that being said, girls, you had a great season. That was a really hard-fought season, and it was fun to watch. Yeah, good job, girls. Boys varsity soccer went regular season nine, two, and four, not yeah. finishing number two in the SFL and taking the second seed in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, once again, make sure to check out at GB Grizz Nation on Instagram to see if they beat Davis uh, yesterday in the quarterfinals. I know this is a lot to take in, but depending on the outcome of the quarterfinal game, your Grizzlies could be playing at home tomorrow at 6 p.m. Yeah, and uh, make sure to be checking in at GB Grizz Nation uh, for updates and for uh, scores and to see if your Grizzlies are in playoffs. Correct. On Tuesday, the Grizzlies boys soccer beat Laguna Creek 6 nothing. 
They absolutely blew him out they of the got water. Whooped. Yeah, they got whooped. Six yeah, nothing, three zero at halftime. Another three after the halftime. That leads us to girls soccer. Yeah. So uh, we did win the tiebreaker versus Folsom. We won in PK. It was uh, zero to zero up until the end of the game. No goals were scored, and then we won uh, three to two in PK. That is really incredible. Was a really really intense game and really really fun to watch. Yeah, it was close all the way to the end, and then we just snuck away with that last. PK kick. Yeah, and then uh, we actually had a... Uh, was that a little halftime show going on? Yeah. Someone let's let's the, take a look at Jimmy real quick. Let's, let's just let's see watch, what he did. Let's watch Jimmy. Let's break it down. Oh, okay. And he's look gonna at him. Be dribbling. Oh, he's rolling. Cross it up. Oh, he crosses oh, he the ghost. Lost it. Oh, yep. the ghost Nobody's, almost got him, though. He's going to keep and fighting he's for he's going to boot it in three, two, one. Boom! Yep. Man, it's a goal. I think he earned a oh spot on varsity soccer, That's, honestly. I don't even, I'm thinking Premier League. Yeah, Premier League. I we mean, might, we might need like to see that. one more, though. We yeah. might need to just, see just one run more. That. Right oh. now, he's on the soccer and then he team. Kicks it. Oh, he Boom. boots it. This goes in. It's Premier League. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. it's in. Just, wow. All righty. This is incredible. Good. Oh, going to get his ball. Yep. I sure hope he doesn't trip in that net. Oh, that was unfortunate. On Monday, your Grizzlies beat Vacaville 1-0 in regular time. Yeah, and they played San Francis on Wednesday, and if they won, they played tonight at either uh, Rio Americano or Whitney. If the girls unfortunately fell short versus St. Francis, then congrats on a hard-fought season, Grizzlies. Uh, upcoming sports, swimming and diving. Diving is at Oakmont because Grand Bay doesn't have uh, dive boards, obviously. But on uh, March 7th at Oakmont at 6 p.m., uh, be there. Right. Track and field, home meet, time trials today at 1 can go after school. Uh, baseball, first home game Thursday, uh, 16th also, versus Wood Creek at uh, 4 p.m. Make sure to be there. Softball is this Saturday versus Kasumnas Oaks at 4.30 p.m. Uh, stunts, February 24th at Granite Bay. Be there. Girls and boys golf does not have a schedule yet along with boys tennis, but make sure to check Instagram accounts for those schedules. Girls lacrosse, guys, first home game Thursday. Uh, it's on March 9th versus Vista at uh, 1 p.m. That's correct. Boys lacrosse first home game is Saturday, March 1st, 4th versus Monta Vista at 12 p.m. Make sure to come out and support your fellow Grizzlies. Uh, me and Connor will be playing in that game, actually, so absolutely. if you want to see yours truly, then come out and check it out. Uh, that just wraps up our very first episode of Scoreboard Unlocked. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any news in the world of Granite Bay Athletics. If you're a varsity athlete or would like to be on Scoreboard or Scoreboard Unlocked, uh, go fill out the Google request form at the link below. Also, make sure to follow our media Instagram account at Granite Bay TV. That's all, Grizzlies. We'll see you on the next Scoreboard Unlocked.